Uh, recently, I was wandering around the Dove Valley in the dark, as you do, and I came across this cave. So I thought, I've got to go and explore it. And I was pleasantly surprised. I should probably stop climbing wow. into random holes at my age. But so glad I did when I f when you find out what I saw. Now these are brown long-eared bats. And they live up to their name as well. Their ears are nearly as long as their bodies. They're a medium-sized bat with huge ears like I've said and nocturnal as with all UK bats and they only come out feeding at night on midges, moths and other flying insects. And they have an incredible sense of direction thanks to the echolocation and the big ears which as you probably know they used to hunt prey. Now I read that they usually roost in holes in trees and old buildings, so it's a bonus to find them in this cave. Something in the dark still root. Interestingly, in the summer, the females form a maternity colony and they have just one single pup each. And the brown long-eared bats hibernate over winter between November and April usually. They're also known as a whispering bat because its voice apparently is very low and don't want to deafen themselves I guess. And when they're at rest, hanging from the ceiling, they tend to either curl their ears back or tuck them under their wings. Mm -hmm. Cute. Back. Oh. I can't get any further. Not really if I go past that bit. Yeah, a few years younger, I'd have gone further. Just can't do it. Go back and look at the bats. And I'm not going to share the location of where I found these bats. Is uh, protected in the UK under the Wildlife Countryside Act. I felt a little bit guilty disturbing them. <laughs> <laughs> 